wouldn't you say that's a bronzer? I think that's a bronzer. It's like girly holiday. I think that's why I love it so much. This is a big old palette. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my review video for you today on the different Sephora collection holiday stuff that I picked up recently. So I have four different things to show you that I've grabbed. This first one is the Color Around the World Four Eye and Face Palettes. Big old guy right here. And then this little guy is the Color Wishes Five Eyeshadow Palettes. Got that one to show you. This one is the Wonderful Dreams Eight Tone Eyeshadow Palette. There's that. And then this last thing is the Ombre Obsession Face Palette. So I've got that to show you also. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about the pricing. I'll show you the packaging. We'll talk about that. I'll show you some swatches. And then I'll just kind of give you a general roundup and kind of let you know what I'm thinking about these and which ones I'm really enjoying the most and what would I recommend to you. So these are the different things that I've tried from the collection. I know that there are other things, but this is what I've grabbed. So this is what I got to show you. So let's jump into it. Okay, so starting with the Color Around the World set. So on the packaging, it says 29 US, but I actually paid 28 for it. So I think 28 is the actual price. So I don't know why it says 29. But anyway, Color Around the World set, it has a really cute theme to it. Like the packaging is really pretty. There's four different palettes in here. There's Paris, New York, Rome, and then Rio. And this up here is like glittery looking and it's very holiday. It's kind of got like texture to it. So it really looks like something special. I think they did a great job of just making it look cute and very holiday. And in the back you see actually what you get in the different palettes. So adorable packaging and I think a really decent price. I mean, four different little palettes for $28 is really good. So looking at the palettes a little bit more closely, this first one is Paris. Really adorable. It's got some little like Parisian sort of icons on them and they're all like that. They have little, you know, designs on them that match the different cities. You open it up, there is a little mirror on the back here and it's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't seem like, you know, a weird, distorted, funky sort of mirror. And then each of the little palettes has four different eyeshadows and either a blush or a bronzer. In Rio, on the whole like outside packaging, it says that each one of them has a blush in it. Um, and three of them do, but Rio, I mean, this is really like more of a bronzer in this one. So let me show you this one. That's a bronzer. And I've used it on my face several times and I like this bronzer, so it's a good one. Um, but I wouldn't say that's a blush. So you do get, you know, some kind of a cheek product and then four different eyeshadows in each one. Then this one is New York. This one's kind of more like a silvery color. Let me show you Rio one more time so you can see that one. So this one's kind of like the fun, colorful sort of palette of the group. Really that blue is about the most colorful that you get in this whole different um, holiday set. You really don't get a lot of other colors. It's mostly a neutral set. And then this one is Rome. And this one is kind of like a warm toned sort of a palette. And you can see here, especially in this one because I've been using it, these are pretty powdery shadows. They really kick up a lot of product when you're using them and they do give you fallout. So the texture on these shadows isn't the greatest, um, you know, but there are some pretty shadows in this set, but most of them I would say have this kind of situation happening where they're kind of messy, sort of powdery, and you just kind of have to be pretty careful with them because you're going to get a lot of fallout situations on your face. So let me show you some swatches. Okay, these first two here are Paris on this side and New York on this side. So you can see there is Paris and here is New York. That New York blush, I it's like, I don't know if it's just it's almost like it's gotten hard pan or something, but it was like that when I first opened it. So I don't really know what's going on with that blush in that one, but I really like the shadows in the New York one. So that's probably my favorite palette from this whole set. It's really cute. But I also do really like the Rome one too. I think it's really a pretty palette. And here are the other two. This one is Rome and that one is Rio. So Rome again has some pretty warm tones in it. I really like the blush on this one. It's a beautiful peachy shade. So there's that one. And then Rio, I don't know. I really like those matte colors. I do really like the bronzer. 
Um, I mean, wouldn't you say that's a bronzer? I think that's a bronzer. But these top two shades, those are really not that great. They don't have the best texture. They don't have much pigmentation. So this is probably my least favorite from the whole set. So moving on to the Color Wishes set because I'm gonna do my little roundup and review at the end. This one includes five different eyeshadow palettes and each little palette includes two different eyeshadows. And they kind of like pair well together, which is cute. Um, so again, on the back, you can see what you're actually getting in the set. So let me run through these and show them to you. And these all have a theme of like be something. So this one is be a celebrity. And this one is kind of like a taupey, bronzy sort of a duo. So there's that one. This one is Be a Role Model. This one's kind of like a, I don't know, lighter champagne with that kind of like purpley taupe sort of a color in it. Another neutral palette. This one is Be a Rock Star. So that's really cute. This one includes a really cool kind of like duo chromey green sort of a shade. I really like that one. These do not have a mirror. It just has a little like look on the side of it so you can see, you know, how to like pair these together and make a look. This one is Be a Hero. This one is kind of like the dark sort of dramatic kind of a set. And then this one is Be a Queen. And again, this is kind of like the dramatic nighttime sort of an eye look. So it has a silver and kind of like a blue shade. Really, really pretty. Kind of like a purpley blue. It's a cool color. Let me show you these swatches. Okay, so this one up here is Be a Celebrity. These two are Be a Role Model. These two are Be a Rock Star. These two are Be a Hero. And then these two right here are Be a Queen. So as far as the texture goes on these shadows, they're kind of like the Color Around the World set in that they're a little bit powdery, but I feel like overall there's better shades in this set. Like this one's a really nice one. This one's a really nice one. I actually really like that. That one's pretty. So I feel like there are more kind of gem shadows in this set to be found versus the other one. Um, but they are still a little bit powdery and they do kick up quite a bit of product still, especially the mattes. But I mean, these kind of shades, are actually really buttery and nice. So it's more the mattes that have that kind of texture issue. Then we have the Wonderful Dreams 8-Tone Eyeshadow Palette. So this is $10. Has the same sort of like textured, snowflakey, very holiday sort of packaging to it. You can see what you're getting on the back again. And then this one has a really cute way that it opens. So this is what it looks like. It's like gray with, you know, little stars on the front and back really sweet and then it actually like slides open so you just slide it to reveal the different little eyeshadows inside so i think it's really fun it's something special to it feels like good you know sturdy cardboard to it so i think it's really fun packaging on this one so for swatches on this one these swatch a lot better the mattes still kind of kick up some product and they are a little bit on the powdery side still but there's a lot more of these really pretty metallic sort of shades in this set. So I like this one a lot. This is the top row, and then this is the bottom row. I mean, that one right there is beautiful. These two are really nice. So, and I think this just looks like, I don't know, holiday party to me, you know, because it just has some really beautiful metallic shades for a really like bright, fun lid color that's just very holiday and it kind of like matches that outside packaging that kind of like glittery snowflakey sort of a look i think this matches that really well so i think these are some really cute shadows and then lastly we have the ombre obsession face palette so this is 34 dollars, and i absolutely love the packaging on this it is so pretty i think i even like this better than the other ones because it's just very girly it's like girly holiday. I think that's why I love it so much. Just a really pretty kind of peachy pink sort of ombre look to it with the little like speckles on it. Really cute. You see what you're getting on the back as usual. And then as far as the size of this palette, it really surprised me. When I saw it online, I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, but this is a big old palette. I mean, this is way bigger than I was expecting. So the outside box is really pretty, but also the inside actual palette is really pretty. 
and it's just a big palette. So what you get in this palette, you do get a nice size mirror, it's on the back of this, but I just don't want to blind you, but just know there is a mirror back here behind the box, um, and it's a really nice mirror. So you just get a nice collection of face products in this palette. So really kind of like blush sort of colors, some kind of like peachy shades, and then like a bronzy sort of a shade. So if you want like a bronzy blush, it could be a blush for you, or it can be a nice bronzer. And then there's a really pretty like pinky champagne highlight in the middle, really gorgeous. And of course I've been swatching them, so I kind of like ruin the ombre sort of look, but some of these are ombre, like this one was really pretty. You can still kind of see it, but it, it doesn't look quite as pretty as when I first opened it. I have a picture on my Instagram, so if you want to see what it looks like before you touch it, you can look on my Instagram. But just a really beautiful collection of face products in here, and it's just a big old palette. So let me show you some swatches. So starting with that kind of pinky maroon shade and then moving clockwise around the palette, goes that way. And then over here, going around the palette. And then this is a little highlight in the middle of the palette. Let me just show you for a second. So all really pretty. These do still kind of kick up some product when you're getting them out of the pan, so your palette may get a little bit messy looking. But I find that they're still really easy to work with on the skin and they look really beautiful. I mean, the pinks especially are really pretty. This one is like, what? Like glowy, hot pink. It's beautiful. This highlight is really gorgeous. I love this kind of like neutral mauve pink. Yes. I mean, that's pretty. I like those. So to kind of sum up my thoughts on these different sets and let you know which ones I would recommend and which ones are my personal favorites, um, the Color Around the World set, I'm just not really wowed by this one. I've used it several different times and while I'm okay with the looks that I've come up with. I find that they do fade a little bit throughout the day. Just that powderiness, I think it's just not sticking to the lids quite as well. So it takes really good primers, really good bases to help them stick. And I'm just not overall very wowed by this set. Um, next up, this little guy. I think this is pretty cute. I like this one better than the Color Around the World set, but Again, I'm not quite as wowed by this one. Um, it has more shades in here that I think are workable than in the Color Around the World set, but I'm still not overall like it's a must have in my book. But I do really like the Wonderful Dream set. I like this one a lot. I think it's very holiday looking. I like the packaging to it. I like it that it's kind of like compact and cute. And I just really like those like metallic shades. So I like this one a lot. I would definitely recommend this one. And then this is definitely the standout for me. I love this thing. I think it's so beautiful to look at. It's way bigger than I thought it would be. So you get a ton of product in here, lots of variety in it, and they're just good. They perform really well. So I love this one. This is absolutely my favorite thing that I got followed by the wonderful dreams. All right guys, so that wraps up my Sephora holiday set review. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you are thinking about these sets. Have you eyed them? Have you already purchased some of them? What are you thinking about them? I love hearing your thoughts. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.